Hi, I'm Colton with Porsche Center Calgary, uh, and I've got a really cool car to talk about today. This one is a 2019 718 Cayman. Uh, now, with the Caymans, you've got a couple of unique things. Engine right in the middle, uh, meaning obviously inherently well-balanced and uh, dynamics are incredible, but there's some practicalities with that too. You have a trunk in the front because you don't have an engine there, and because it's in the middle, you actually have a little bit of room left over for a trunk in the back. Uh, and then because of the hatch, you also have a little bit of space kind of on top of where the engine is. Uh, so if you're somebody who likes to golf but wants a two-seater sports car, uh, this is really good for that because you can actually fit clubs in there uh, and still have some room uh, in the front trunk for other stuff. So surprisingly practical uh, two-seater car. But uh, you don't buy it for the practicality, you buy it for the performance. So uh, the Cayman has in that uh, middle area a two liter four cylinder turbocharged engine. It makes 300 horsepower and about 280 pound feet of torque uh, in this small light package. That's a ton. Um, and with these engines, it used to be they had a flat six cylinder engine, and some people kind of romanticized that one. It was a good engine and it sounded good, uh, but it didn't make the power or the torque that this one does. This one actually has the same zero to 60 time as um, the six cylinder version did uh, as a Cayman S. So this one uh, definitely still packs a punch uh, even without that S badge. Um, but uh, let's talk about this one in particular. Obviously, um, the most striking aspect is this color. This is the Miami blue. It's a solid paint. It's one that's a little bit more costly uh, and just really makes it pop. It, it's an awesome color. Uh, it's been fairly popular uh, as far as uh, more of the outlandish colors go. Most of what we sell is still gonna be black and white and gray, uh, but people are liking this Miami blue and I certainly do. I think it's pretty cool. Um, so then wheels. Pretty significant upgrade there we did as well. This is a 20 inch Carrera S wheel. An 18 inch would have been standard on this car. Uh, and then we did one step further there and painted it in the black satin. So it has kind of a matte finish on there. Looks particularly good. And then uh, around back, we also switched the tailpipes out to the sport tailpipes and in black to tie in the, the coloring of the wheels and things. Um, on the note of the exhaust, I should mention for 2019, sport exhaust is standard on these cars. So you won't see it on the option list, but they all have it. So you have the button you can press in there, makes it a little bit louder, a little bit more aggressive. Uh, when you lift off the throttle, you get the backfires and stuff like that. Uh, really, really cool. Uh, and if there is one complaint about this engine, uh, when it came out, it was the sound. People missed the sound of that six. Uh, the sport exhaust goes a long way to rectifying that issue. Um, and then sticking with the outside up front, it has the LED um, PDLS or Porsche Dynamic Lighting System. So the highest end lights that are available on the car, they're about twice as bright as the standard by Xenons and they're dynamic. So they'll turn with steering wheel input and look further down the road as you speed up. Uh, and they'll have the auto high beam function as well. You can leave your high beams on when it sees a car coming the other way, uh, it'll dip them down or turn them off. Uh, so you're not dazzling that oncoming traffic. And then moving inside, Black interior, uh, as we pretty much always do on these cars, it's definitely the color I'd recommend. Um, just kind of goes with every exterior. And then the seats we upgraded to the Sport Plus seat. So a little bit more heavily bolstered than the standard one on the sides here, as well as you know in the back of the seat. Uh, and then also you get the shoulder support, which you don't on the standard seat. Uh, and if you're gonna get a sports car, most of them will option with the sportier seat is what most people are after. Uh, but we did the manual version as opposed to the power, which we'll do on most of our sports cars, but not all. Uh, for a couple of reasons though, one, it saves weight, uh, which is obviously very important in the sports cars. But also I find actually it makes it a lot easier to get in and out of the cars because the coupes have such a big door. If you're in a tight parking space, you often want to slide the seat back, give yourself more room to swing your legs out. Uh, and it's just one quick motion in the uh, in the manual seat. Uh, these are the seats that I had in my car uh, and I am a strong advocate of them. I think they're the best seat option. Um, Beyond that, we did the smaller GT steering wheel and added the multifunction. So it's about 10 millimeters smaller than the regular wheel, which you wouldn't think has a huge impact, uh, but it does. I, I vastly prefer the, the GT wheel. Uh, and then added the multifunction. So you have the buttons on there to make phone calls, to scroll through various menus, uh, as well as the steering wheel heating you get with the multifunction. So this guy has that as well. Uh, and heated seats, I should mention. 
We also added the entry and drive, so you just touch the door handle to unlock it and flip the ignition switch without having to plug your key into the dash. Uh, we also added the Bose audio, which I think is almost a must, depending uh, what you listen to, but 90-ish percent of what we'll sell, uh, we'll put the Bose in. So we did that here. And then now for 19, you can add the CarPlay just as a standalone option for just a couple hundred dollars. Uh, well, I think 400 or so, uh, but a lot more cost effectively than it was on previous model years. So we put that in here as well. Uh, so it won't have the Porsche navigation system, but it does have the CarPlay, uh, meaning you can use your Apple Maps, uh, you can also use Google Maps on it, uh, Waze, all that stuff is compatible with the CarPlay. Uh, so it, it's a really great system. Um, all the cars also, I'll mention in talking with that screen, uh, will have a backup camera and sensors front and rear. That's standard on all of them as well, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, and that pretty well sums up this one. So all the important features are there. Uh, really awesome color, really attractive car. And when it comes to you know handling performance dynamics, nothing beats the Cayman. In, in uh, many applications, it's faster than the 911 is, uh, which people don't always appreciate. But it's definitely a car, if you're not familiar with it, um, Come down, check it out in person, experience it because it is quite unique uh, and we'd be happy to take it for a drive. Thanks a lot for watching.